Hey guys. Okay. I felt like doing like a quick uh, love uh, message for all signs. It'll be Aries through Pisces. Time stamped. You can find that in the description box or the comments and you can skip to your sign. We're going to dive right in. They're going to be really, really quick messages. Um, I don't often do those, but I would like to sort of um, use specific positions. It's only going to be like one or two, maybe three cards. It'll be who they are, um, how they feel, and let's say their actions uh, towards you. Let's say we do that. Okay. I know plenty of readers do it, but I just felt like trying it out. Okay, let's do Aries. <laughs> Who is this person? Okay, this there's a card that didn't really turn, but it, it made a noise and I really want to pull it. Okay, it's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. <laughs> this person is restless <laughs> over you. <laughs> Um, I feel they're like someone well-traveled. Uh, there's someone that loves to um, get around. They're like um, a busy body. I feel they love to dance. <laughs> okay, that would be a short description of who they are. Um, they might also be at a distance from you. Not that they're necessarily... Uh, not in terms of their attitude, right? Maybe really physically. I think they might be busy elsewhere. Um, because they're not around. <laughs> That's the words that I'm getting because of the wheel. They're not around. They're going to come around though. <laughs> but let's see how they feel for you. <laughs> what is that? Show me please. Okay, no way. <laughs> Let me show you. I'm not going to touch anything. Look, the chariot came out and then this one. I'm going to keep this one for um, their future actions. But this is the... It's crazy. This person is really a traveler. <laughs> so, you know, how they feel is they do feel the distance. Uh, so it's true. They're not around you at the moment. Um... It's interesting, they feel triumphant. Um, they feel like they've won the big prize when they think of you. Uh, they feel they've scored. Um, they also feel like in control of their life, knowing that um, they're coming towards you, coming around to you. It's something that really empowers them. It's beautiful. So let me turn that last card. Okay, it's the Queen of Wands in reverse. It could be another fire sign. Uh, the future actions is <laughs> being a little cocky. I think it goes hand in hand with, you know, feeling like... Um, I'm going to put it this way, right? It's almost like you're the trophy. So it's a very positive vibe because they're really proud of you and they really care for you. So they're like super ecstatic about it. But yet there's a little bit of a show off energy being cocky about it for sure <laughs> okay let's do taurus <laughs> that was fun i had some other uh my makeshift deck but i'm not gonna use it i'm just gonna keep going okay taurus So who's this person for Taurus? <laughs> Temperance in reverse. <laughs> it's like the same message. Uh, it, they're restless, um, but it's a different kind of restless on the Temperance in reverse. In this case, it's a little bit impatient, of course, but they could be um, on the fence about you a little bit, you know, like one foot in, one foot out. Um, a yes and a no um there could be a little bit of that but let's see um more but before i move on let me pick up uh, see if i can pick up anything else about who they are 
This person's highly spiritual. Um, harmony is very important to them. Peace of mind. But mostly harmony. So peace within relationships is crucial. Although it's in reverse, it's still something that they uh, are striving to accomplish or it's something that they want with you, definitely. And it's not yet there. Something like that. So, um, of course, they could be Sagittarius, but I also feel um, they love being of service or to be helpful. Uh, they have a very, very soft, um, they're very kind. That's what I meant to say. They have a kind uh, soul. Let's see um, how they feel for you. Okay, before that card comes out, yes, they're kind, yes, they're helpful, but because temperance is in reverse, I'm also sensing that um, it comes with the restlessness and the ambivalence at the moment. Um, they're particularly annoyed with that. <laughs> it's pretty much how they feel. I'm sorry, I'm kind of combining the meanings here, but this one wanted to come out. Beautiful. They feel a lot of love for you. They feel like that's the restlessness. That's why they're so annoyed. They can't wait to tell you. They can't wait to speak to you, to come towards you to like just really like get together um they want to reach you i mean this night is coming along and they want to actually reach you so whether by phone by text but i think it's even more than that it the the impatience here is about can i really get to this person like can i really hold them in my arms once and for all <laughs> <sighs> okay what are their future actions it's interesting i keep describing the cards the positions for the cards as not the right one right like i'm i'm anyways you know what i mean what are their actions three of wands they still have to wait they have to be patient what's really beautiful is that um they're going to be able to, how do we say this? Wait the wait, <laughs> wait it out. You know what I mean? Um, although they feel restless um, and they are probably someone who's a tad impatient by nature. They're, they're so uh, adamant about, you know, reaching you. Uh, they're going to wait. They're not going to give up. You know what's interesting? They're so restless, um, yet they're contained. They have to contain themselves. And I think this is why, like... I think they know that they have a very, um, how can we say this? They might be a little, like too much, like a little uh, over the top kind of energy. So they would really, really, you know, they feel so much love for you and it's like, they can't wait to tell you that. But at the same time, they're choosing their actions is to be patient, to hold them back. And they, you know, there's a little bit of a containing themselves. Okay, 
Let's do Gemini. <laughs> I'm not used to doing positions um, for the spreads uh, on the cards, believe it or not. So. <laughs> Gemini's. Who's this person? Who are you thinking about? Or who's thinking about you, I should say? <laughs> oh. Mm. It, it really wanted to... <laughs> the King of Wands. That's beautiful, Gemini. You've got someone really um, passionate um confidence um they know what they want they're gonna come for you right they're gonna really like they have no um they're not shy you know they're really gonna seduce you they're not gonna be um <clears throat> they're not gonna beat around the bush <laughs> because this person really believes in themselves they believe in and what they have to offer. Um, they know they're like someone, you know, that they know they're a catch. <laughs> and they could feel that about you as well, right? But let's see how they really feel. But this is the person, very confident. <laughs> They can't stop thinking about you in the most positive way. They have fond, fond memories. <laughs> um, and they wish to create more memories with you. It could be someone you're very familiar, comfortable with, uh, you feel at home with. Um, it's like instantaneous uh, connection, soulmate energy, all of that. No way, their future actions, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> Gemini, you've hit the jackpot. Like, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> you have someone like super gorgeous, passionate, um, s confident, uh, who like is crazy over heels for you, has strong feelings, believes that they're, they're your soulmate. They're going to come and bring it all to you it's beautiful Gemini <laughs> all upright it's gorgeous oh my gosh that's gonna be a, a beautiful relationship I hope you say yes <laughs> or that you've already said yes <laughs> okay let's do cancer now Who's this person for cancer? Two cards. Okay, Queen of Cups with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So that's beautiful because the person has strong emotions for you. Um, they're very intuitive, they're sensitive, um, they're sweet. Um, they know what they want because the Two of Pentacles is in reverse. Um, they could have dropped something um, recently. It's a possibility. Something someone else. Um, let's see. Um, this person is genuine. Um, if they tell you they love you, they mean it. Very uh, authentic. So let's see how they truly feel here. <laughs> the sun in reverse, which I find always, for me, the sun card is just beautiful, no matter if it's in reverse or upright. I mean, even in, in reverse, I should say. Uh, they think the world of you. I think they kind of uh, don't want to let it show too, too much. I think that's that would be why the sun is in reverse. The sun card just not to be like too uh obvious i think literally it's it's about trying to be like <laughs> a little more <laughs> uh, civilized 
meaning they wouldn't want to jump on you, right? So they're going to like be polite and like court you and all of that, but they, they really think the world here of you. You're the center of their galaxy. <laughs> so let's see what they're going to do actually. Okay, three cards. I'm going to take them. Why not? They did flip. Okay. Let me mix bag here. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Judgment in reverse. Why is it Judgment in reverse? It's the same storyline. Look, I think that they hold on to you. Um, but something is delayed with you. And on the side here, the person that I, I said they were dropping, uh, this is what's going on. They're not repeating something with another queen, right? So there is definitely, or there was another person. So either they're still in the process of dropping the person or, you know, but I feel like the hanging on here, um, well, there's two energies on this. They could be closed off to that person, definitely. And, um, or in some cases, for some of you, they might still be holding on a little bit. Although I don't think it's true because I see that, that that's the opposite here. At least in terms of their intentions, right? Maybe in terms of the circumstances, it's different. And it's also the fact that they do want to hold on to you. <laughs> because they think the world of you, they don't want to let you go. All right, let's do Leo. <laughs> they were supposed to be quick messages. They, they're turning out to be a little longer. <laughs> Leo. Who's this person for Leo? person is moody they're moody because they're caught up uh, they're caught up uh, they're being delayed uh, they're very they're trying to make something uh, they're trying to turn something around in terms of, um, they want to make sure something is successful. So that's really, really uh, holding them up. It's making them irritable. That's why I said moody. How they feel about you. It's what's making them irritable. There's a feeling of uh, in and out with you. They get caught up. Uh, you might experience that with them as well, right? The in and out because they're busy elsewhere. They come back to you. They leave. But um, they're also sensing that about you. Maybe that's what they're trying to turn around to make su successful. Maybe they they don't feel so uh, successful when it comes to relating to you. I just uh, I just heard they're trying to impress you on the chariot card specifically. There's an energy of a little bit of mistrust, slightly. 
either from them or seven of cups in reverse as their actions towards you. I mean, they want you, they really want you out of, out of the many things that they have to take care of, out of maybe the, the many people that could be uh, trying to get their attention, definitely, but I, th I think they're unsure about you. Uh, they're unsure about your feelings. They're not sure about, I guess, if you're really interested, are you really into them? Are you going to stick around? Are you going to be there for a while? Um, they distrust that. They're not uh, convinced. But they know they really, really like you. You're their, you're the main attraction. <laughs> My cat wants to come in. Hold on. <laughs> well, I'm done with Leo. So, <laughs> I, I'm actually going to not get up. <laughs> He's going to have to wait. <laughs> okay, let's do Virgo. Let's do Virgo. Who's this person? The Page of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> it's interesting. I mean, it's not the typical um, meaning. I just heard they're a penny pincher. Um, That's interesting. What does it have to do with you? So, this person has a complex of inferior, inferiority, right? Um, they're not the um, most confident person. Um, it's a question of self-worth, definitely. Let's see how they feel about you. Uh, also, I would describe them as um, youthful, like um, conge congenial, uh, fun to be around, but hard to be taken seriously. Uh, they feel like the queen of swords towards you. They have a very intellectual uh, sort of interest for you, first and foremost. So I guess mainly platonic, friend, friendship, friendly, cordial, or... You know, um, they feel a little guarded because of their self, lack of self-worth, right? Of self-esteem. They keep the guard up, like they, they're pretty much in their head, actually. Let's see what they do towards you, Virgo. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, they hold back, yes, um, but they're building up their courage to come and speak to you. They're not going to rush in. They're going to be very discreet. They're going to be almost too subtle. <laughs> I hope you're going to get the cues right or the hints because um, they're going to be very subtle. But they're, they are going to... Um, Try to be less shy. They're gonna stay extremely polite because they're they're they are polite. Almost too polite, like 
oh i don't want to disturb you like you know like too much <laughs> that kind of energy hmm. all right virgo um you better open your eyes to see those signs because they're going to be very subtle <laughs> with the strength card let's do libra Libra, who's this person? Uh, they didn't turn. Who's this person? <laughs> the chariot. It could be a Cancer. Person successful. They they love to travel. This person could be from a different culture. Definitely. They have a different cultural background. They have a different kind of education. Um, not necessarily drastic to yours, right? Like drastically different, I should say, but noticeable. Uh, they could come from a, a different country. They might be immigrants. So, I mean, they might uh, still have been born where you live, but they have, um, they come from a different cultural background. Okay. <laughs> How they feel. <laughs> they feel foreign to you <laughs> because um, foreign in the sense not because they're a stranger, uh, meaning they come from a foreign land, as I was describing, being from a different country but uh, or a different culture, but because um, somewhat uh, they feel separate from you. They're in deep thought as well because they reflect a lot about the meaning of the connection. Uh, they question a, uh, a lot. Um, they're wondering if there's a spiritual tie between the two of you or a spiritual quote unquote reason uh, as to why you're in their life. Let's see what their actions are. Oh. Two cards. <laughs> you get the devil and the ten of uh, wands. Well, it's funny. Um, they're a little bit obsessive or obsessed, uh, for one. Um, I feel they're relentless in their pursuit. So if they do decide to come towards you, I mean, they're going to go <laughs> quite far to reach you. The Ten of Wands here is about um, putting in the efforts, but I mean, it's coupled with the devil, so I mean, they're going to like double triple, quadruple the efforts to, to really, um, I don't know, I want to say, um, I mean, look how these energies are so different between the hermit and the devil, right? It's almost like the hermit is uh, very wise, and the devil is, um, he's smart, but he's, he's overriding the energy of being wise and kind of, I almost want to say, uh, I don't know why, but I want to say soft spoken here. The devil energy is much more loud, but not that this person is shouting, but it's like, um, in terms of the tone or the intensity, like, you know, you could really feel it 
and it's subtle but it's there so again they don't have to be like whispering or then shouting but there's something about how they express themselves that you would notice the difference and I feel that um, you might experience that one day with them almost like saying they kind of are double-sided i mean we do have the chariot with the two the black and white horse they kind of have a double-sided personality not uh schizo here not at all or how do you call like multiple personalities nothing crazy like that i'm just saying um very distinct uh moods or attitudes you know like behaviors you would notice that but their actions towards you they're like uh, they're not gonna give up um, you know they almost uh, it's almost like that they're gonna go the long on I mean, listen, you have the chariot, the hermit's like saying they're going to go the long haul for you. <laughs> they're very resilient. And they don't let go. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway. Um, let's do Scorpio. came out I was gonna say who's this person but I'm gonna take the cards Queen of Wands hind man in reverse and the high priestess this person is uh, complex uh, they have a very um, I want to say a rich personality like they are multifaceted they have a lot of drive. Um, they're probably attractive, at least uh, fairly attractive. They um, they love music. I get that from the hangman because it's in Pisces cards, so I associate it with Neptune. Neptune for me is music. Um, they're very sensitive yet the way they come up to the world is much more um, bubbly and you know like outgoing yet uh, they have a very reserved uh, side to them or a very deep uh, intro no they're curious about um, the mysteries of life, so they're not just like a social butterfly here, like just wanting a good time. And um, on the contrary, they're interested by very deep subjects, which they put in a lot of time into. And they love music. They have a little bit of a martyr um, vibe to them. So maybe when they're a little bit on the negative side, you might notice that eventually they play martyr. Let's see how they feel about you, Scorp <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> okay, three of swords. Ace of uh, Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. I'm sensing they feel um, 
I mean, I'm getting the words, uh, they have to work hard for you. Um, and by that, I mean, obviously, we don't have the Ten of Wands here, or it's, it's mostly like they're trying so hard to offer you like, you know, whatever their proposition is. And it's like, they're hitting, uh, this wall, which is, I feel is kind of you. Um, and this position is about how they feel. So this is how they perceive you, right? They perceive that they're trying to offer something to someone who was heartbroken or betrayed in the past. And then, so they feel it's very difficult to get to you, to get to your heart. So although they're trying to offer like their best, <laughs> um, your heart is um, a little bit inaccessible at the moment. That's how they perceive this. So let's see what they actually do. Although, although I feel that they want to offer you the world. <laughs> Five of Cups in reverse. Well, their action is, is basically... Um, They want to console you. They really want to like make all the sadness go away from, from whatever heartbreak you had or experiences in love that didn't go so well. At least that's what they <clears throat> think. They don't know, um, most probably, uh, or they might know what, what has happened, but either way, they feel your heart is a little closed off. So they feel they need to uh, offer you first and foremost um, a safe place, uh, meaning like open the space for you to feel safe, received. Um, they wanna really um, wipe your tears away. <laughs> funny okay Sagittarius oh. I'm trying to split the cards <laughs> as I put them back in the deck okay Sagittarius what about you Sag Who is this person for Sagittarius? <laughs> the fool. I'm smiling ear to ear because this energy came out. Um, and for some reason, the, this person is very uh, carefree, um, but in a positive sense, right? They're like, they're free. They're just like, um, I'm hearing adorable. Uh, they have this uh, ingenuity. They um, are open to experiences. You know, the only word that they have in their mouth is yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, I also feel that they're cool. The fool is cool. <laughs> okay, let's uh, look at their feelings for you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> this one. Queen of Wands. There's a lot of fire. They have so much passion. Um, this person has no uh, inhibitions. Um, their heart is fully opened. They are, um, they have a sunny personality. They're uplifting. They're fun to be around with. They're cool. They're really cool. Um, they think that you're extremely attractive. They, they they are physically attracted to you in that sense. Um, 
They literally find you beautiful or handsome. And I just, my impression right now was that they love every detail of you. You know how sometimes you find someone pretty or so, but then there are some people that the more you look at them and the more beautiful they are to you, this is the energy. Let's see what they do towards you. <laughs> Let's see. The Queen of Swords in reverse. It's a little bit like saying they don't want to detach. Um, they don't want to cut you off. Um, and they're afraid of coming across as maybe blunt uh, because we do have a lot of fire. So they're, they're kind of... Um, How do you say the word? Um, I'm not sure of the word to use, but they're really trying to dose um, how they're going to come towards you and they don't want to mess it up. They don't want to lose out. And they have this thing where they what I'm sensing, uh, maybe I'm extrapolating here, but it's still what I'm sensing. They're very uh, self-conscious about the impression that they make on you. And that bothers them greatly. So they, they're wanting not to appear uh, in a negative light, mainly. I think they're f afraid of, of being judged or misjudged or I'm not sure why. Let's do Capricorn. Capricorn, who is this person for you? <laughs> the Three of Wands. They could be a sailor. Um, they could also be a merchant. So um, someone that does commerce, specifically um, maritime commerce, trade. Someone patient. Um, Someone like um, a visionary, someone that has uh, forward thinking, that possess forward uh, thinking, who can see the big picture, who's willing to um, how do you say it? who Almost like saying, um, they have the faith um, because, or they keep the faith kind of when it comes to maybe you uh, or anything I would say. I think their personal personality is about um, believing in their dreams and keeping the faith that it'll come for them. How they feel, the Queen of Wands has been the star of the night. She's been out in about three, four readings so far, if not five. <laughs> so anyways, how they feel about you. Um, it's crazy because 
they're a patient person, but on this card, they're not patient at all. Um, I'm not so sure why they have this uh, urge when it comes to you. Uh, and the urge is more like a sense of urgency. Like timing is at play here because the cards contradict and I'm sensing it's it's something related to timing. Um, that's all I get, I'm sorry. Maybe more. It's clouded by the urgency. Let's see what actions they take towards you because I'm not sure why it's so um, in the way here. Two cards. The lovers in reverse and the page of pentacles. They're afraid uh, they're gonna lose out on you if they wait too long they're afraid you're going to disconnect or of of not being able to connect and that their offer is going to basically fall to the wayside so their actions is to it's a strange energy because their action is to kind of wait for that and yet they're Feeling uh, the urgency. They're choosing the waiting game. They're choosing to wait still. But know that they're like really um, not comfortable with uh, risking this, uh, risking losing you by waiting too long. So let's do Aquarius. Aquarius, who's this person for you? <laughs> Page of Cups flew out. Okay, this person is um, super um, good with words when it comes to speaking from the heart, giving compliments, um, even they're very charming, <laughs> very charming. They have a beautiful voice. At least to you, right? Let's see how they feel for you. Three cards. Okay, the strength in reverse, the page of wands, and the empress in reverse. You know, they keep wanting to come towards you. Um, it's interesting because you do have the strength in reverse and the empress in reverse. So and we've got two pages. So the energy is very subtle. They are subtle. Um, the way they charm and the way they approach and the way they speak even and the way that they, even the things that they choose to tell you are very, um, they work on a crescendo if you want. Um, it starts small and it builds, it builds. It's the kind of person that prefers, uh, you know, it's like saying someone that takes a very long time to court, to court you. They actually enjoy it themselves, but they, they do it because it's, first of all, I think it's how they are, their person, their nature. 
and um, I would even say now that this is how they feel so that it's how it creeps up on them right it develops slowly so the more they kind of open up the more the feelings uh, blossom as well right it comes together let's see what they really do what their actions are towards you because they do want to come towards you i can see i can see that but they are holding back they're not yet uh fully opened okay their future actions is the four of wands in reverse There's an energy of wanting to commit and yet, not yet. <laughs> like, there's something about, um, I want to say the twin flame thing. Uh, not that I really uh, adhere to that um, much. But because the card is in reverse it's on their mind but they're questioning it or they're wondering if you're that energy for them and if there's a little bit of the twin flame maybe this uh, very slow progression i was describing about how they're approaching you and even how they're feeling inside could be part of the twin flame journey for them the the equation for them of how they feel um, that period where you might not necessarily be together and they're sorting through um, particular things for them related specifically to their own stability uh, their capacity to commit uh, with you so at the moment they're not necessarily um, offering you the commitment nor the relationship I would go as far as saying that as well right but the, all the intentions and the emotions are there. So let's do Pisces now. Pisces. <laughs> Three cards, I'm gonna take them. Who they are, wow. What a combo. Your font in reverse, lovers in, re in reverse, and the king of wands. This person is... Um, I want to say highly intellectual because of the euro font and even the lovers to... To an extent, um, both cards speak of connectedness, um, alignment, uh, spirituality. It's, it's really interesting. There's something, there's a little piece here about the body. This person is a king, right? King of wands. Um, they're a businessman, not like the king of pentacles. They're more like an entrepreneur, entrepreneur you know, like a um, trailblazer. Um, I want to say that they're very unorthodox um, in terms of what they do for a living, what they love. Um, they're unorthodox in, in who they love as well. How they love. They're successful. And they're super smart. Because Lovers is also Gemini. And Gemini is the mercurial mind. Uh, extremely uh, agile. Really quick very quick uh, beautiful 
let's look at how they feel for you. This one. <laughs> Six of Wands. They're going to conquer you. That's how they feel. They know it. They know they've actually conquered your heart, most probably, uh, or they will. Uh, they feel successful. They feel uh, comfortable. They feel um, you're a good match. They feel the. Um, they also feel like, um, you know, they're. How do you say this? I'm going to say something that has sometimes a, a little bit of a negative connotation, but I really don't mean it that way. Like they, there's something about being put on a pedestal. So they might put you on a pedestal. Uh, they might like being put on a pedestal. I mean, they are a king, but it's not necessarily like they're in a negative or derogative sense, right? Oh, they're going to get you. <laughs> they're also, they feel very proud. So you bring them pride, meaning I think they, they want to be seen with you. They actually want to uh, really be seen uh, as a partner an item, a couple with you. They want others to see that very much. So they, I would even go as far as to say they want to be in the public eye with you. Let's see what their actions is, are towards you. This one. Oh, it's beautiful. The world for me is traveling. It's coming to you. It's coming full, full circle. It's um, another card of triumph. I mean, look, look at the success on this. Um, they, they're gonna start a new cycle, a new life, um, a new chapter of their life with you. These cards are crazy, crazy beautiful. <laughs> You know, they're going to travel to you, but they're also going to um, bring you the world. Because this person will probably be very successful or already is. I mean, look at all these cards. Look how much success there is here. All together, right? So I feel they will bring you the world. That's so amazing. So I hope something resonated for each and every one of you. I appreciate greatly that you are watching this video. I would also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up if you did share. Uh, subscribe to the channel and come back. <laughs> we'll see you around. Ciao, ciao. Good night.